grass and open woodland once covered much of the southeastern United States. The first settlers called these savannas, or barrens. And just like on the Great Plains, fire was nature's way of preserving them. But fighting wildfires for a century caused millions of acres of eastern prairie to grow into forest. Only small remnants of grassland remain. Game birds like quail are in trouble because they're ground nesting birds and their habitat has become scarce. I think uh, grassland habitat and savannas are probably the rarest habitat in the eastern United States. In the Catoosa Wildlife Management Area, setting fire to the woods will allow quail and turkey to thrive in the grass that grows back. This is Tennessee's biggest savanna. Most of this area was a forest, but now we're creating a, a more diverse habitat with these open grasslands like this. And uh, using fire as a tool, you know, it's inexpensive, so we're getting uh, a lot of bang for the buck. Burning gets rid of woody shrubs, but doesn't kill the oaks. The ash absorbs sunlight, which warms the ground. Microbes soften and enrich the soil, and the grass comes back on its own. An infestation of pine beetles killed almost all the evergreens here. Some of the timber was salvaged, but instead of replanting pine, managers decided to try something else. So you knew the grasses were here, and we thought, well, if we uh, burn it and just wait a little while, uh, see what happens. The shrubs and pines disappeared, leaving the oaks and acorns for deer, squirrels, and turkeys to feed on, and lots of grass. Part across the road is looking pretty good. About 100 miles away in Kentucky, Army biologists manage the largest prairie east of the Mississippi. Go look at that nest. Or that. This field is a parachute landing zone at Fort Campbell Army Base. It's a remnant of the Kentucky Barrens, which have all but disappeared. You're looking at almost 50,000 acres of native grasslands. That's it. And, and that's why it's so important to these native birds. Scientists have identified 200 kinds of birds on this base and 10 rare species that breed here. You know, some of the early explorers, you know, they, they saw the bison and they were grazing in open areas. You thought, well, can we recreate that? And we can. You know, this is proof of it. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.